Hello there, friends of the Freak Apocalypse. Welcome back to another episode of Freak Apocalypse here on my channel. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I last recorded, and right now it is a little past 10 p.m. So what better time to continue playing, right? Um, and yeah, I went ahead and checked out our chores so that I know where to, you know, pick things back up. And I think, uh, I think the first thing that we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna try and get some anchovy chips from the vending machine, which is um, the first side chore, a love connection. And after that, we can continue with the, with the only main chore we have right now and return to Sawyer and tell her that we hung up all of the posters, I think. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> so, uh, I think this was the way to the cafeteria, I hope. Also, I did a few uh, changes here and there. I I don't know when you will be able to tell because I don't know when the next cutscene will come up, but um, I did activate um, in-cutscene subtitles now so that we will be able, or if somebody's difficult to understand, that we will be able to read what they're saying. And I, as you can see, I also put up a cam frame around myself <laughs> to make it a bit more pleasing to look at, hopefully. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with me, of course. Um, so the question is, where exactly would we get the anchovy chips? I mean, we did talk about the anchovy chips uh, right at this vending machine right here, where this guy is standing in front of. But it could also come out of the veggie vendor, probably. A vegetable dispensing vending machine. In other words, the least popular vending machine in the entire school. Okay, in that case, maybe it isn't the right vending machine. Let's talk to it. When was the last time you were restocked? You smell kinda funky. Mm. It's out of order, as usual. Okay, so... Maybe hunger tube? The perfect snack for the extreme on-the-go lifestyle mm. I wish I had. Maybe not. Hi there! I don't have enough money to waste on a tube mm. dinner. Yeah, yeah, tube dinner. Okay, um... Can we interact with it if he's in standing in front of it? I don't know. It's filled with all the classics. Dortiro's, Chody's, and Otis Bunkhauer's cookie-like food product. Mm-hmm. The classics. Everybody loves them. Thank you for the offer, but I'll have to politely decline your services. Hmm. I can't use it while Vince is blocking mm. the vending machine. Maybe I should talk to him first. But we did talk to him already. And, well, he's still standing here, obviously. You know, Blue Magma sounds like the name of a cool sci-fi movie. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. <sighs> The hitbox is off still. I'm back for more. Well, we don't have any new options. He did want to get anchovy chips. Did he? I'm ki honestly right now I'm kind of confused who wanted the anchovy chips. Because we have a guy over there who's <laughs> puking up anchovy chips because he had too much of them. And he said that he was interested in getting them, but he didn't get them yet. So, who are we gonna get the anchovy chips for? Not for ourselves, that's for sure. Would we get them to give him? Hmm. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's ask him if he's using it. Are you, uh, using this? Once more. Yeah, I'm just having a little trouble deciding. So you won't mind if I go ahead and... No cutting! No cutting! Yeah, no cutting. Yeah, we knew okay, that. Okay okay, 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 geez, yes. Um, let's ask him again if we want if he wants some chips. Grab some chips. Chips are the best. Hmm. I think you're onto something there, but what kind? Anchovy chips. They have anchovy chips. I don't know why, but they do. Oh shit! Anchovy chips. I didn't even see those. Hell yeah. But yeah, we did tell him that already, so even if he didn't see them, he would know by now. Okay, sweet. You made a decision. It's the wrong decision, but hey, you made it. I'm proud of you. Hey, thanks. Now I just need to find another quarter. Quarter, okay. God damn it! I don't suppose we have one, right? Yeah, no, um... But... The game also didn't say anything about finding a quarter to give him. Uh. 
I am very confused right now. Okay, so uh, he s seems to still have something to say. I'm back for more. Oh no, there is nothing new. Uh, let's talk about the empty bags again. That's a lot of empty bags at your feet. Anchovy chips. They're so goddamn good. Mm -hmm. I ate so many last time. I think I'm gonna. But I could go for some more right now. You okay, okay, okay. So we, so we do need them for him. Uh, now it makes sense what again. I but was, you um, should throw those bags in the trash. <laughs> Screw you. What am I, the janitor? Well, you ignore trash like you're the janitor, but you cry about your ex-wife way less. So I guess not. How do we get the fucking anchovy chips? We need money for that other guy, Steve, right? Stingy Steve or something like that. Uh, but we don't have any. And again, the game didn't update the quest or anything to, um, you know, tell us that we have to find some money, so... I'm very confused right now. See you later, yeah, see you later. Uh, okay, I guess... Wait, can I... Uh, I don't... No, I don't want to look at every table right now. At, at least I don't want to interact with any table right now. But I'm keeping my eyes peeled, at least, to see if... Um, <laughs> there's, there happens to be a quarter on one of the tables. Which doesn't seem to be the case. But I will take a look at this table real quick, because it seems like there are some... Uh, Sheets of paper on there, maybe? You know, like the note that uh, the puking guy was supposed to get. At least 70% of the garbage on Pacific Garbage Island is from our school. They should build a statue of us there or something. <laughs> Jesus! These tables look like they came directly off a garbage pail kid's card. At least 70% of the garbage... Okay. Let's table this conversation for later. Yeah, let's. Oh, sure, I'll just sit down at the table without an appetite, a lunch, mm. or a friend. Great idea. Okay, so yeah, so, uh... That also doesn't seem to be what I'm supposed to do. Um... I'm just happy that I'm wasting so much time right now. <laughs> um, but one thing I will try... Oh, I think I did try that already. Try uh, interacting with uh, every vending machine. You know, maybe like there's some spare change in there if you hit it hard enough or something, but uh, nothing happened, so I don't think that's the case. Uh, let's go back to Sawyer. Uh, let's finish the main quest, uh, the main chore that we have right now. Because I don't know what else to do. I also don't know if we checked out every room or every classroom or whatever, right? But, um,. I hope we will find money eventually before anything bad happens, because I want to finish the side quests. Because this is the only side quest that we technically can finish right now, because because it's in the school. For the other side quests, we need a location change. That's Sawyer. She's my oldest friend. Well, my only friend. At least I think she's my friend. Or she's just being polite. We're gonna find out. I got those flyers up. I'm sure some of these idiots will accidentally see it. I hope so. Thanks for that. Oh, by the way, you should go talk to the librarian. I saw her cracking her knuckles and swearing vengeance on you. Something about an overdue book? I don't think the librarian was there when we were in the library, right? I don't remember her. Maybe she was. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. Yeesh. I already have enough people threatening my life as it is. Thanks for the heads up. I'll go talk to her. Yeah. Oh, another trophy. We don't care about those, right? We, we want to get them, but we won't read them. Um, oh, wait. I only noticed the hint button now, but um, yeah, overdue endeavor. Talk to the librarian. So the main shore. Let's... Oh, wait. Wrong button. Let's... Yes. Yes, let's open this chore, and now let's press the hint button. Helping others find love may feel nauseating, but if you... The puking guy. But if you cash in your chips successful, Yeah, but... How do I get my chips? Because... I can't get any chips right now. Another hint, maybe? No. 
if I... Uh, that doesn't seem to work that way, okay. Um. Well, I know what I have to do ultimately, but I first need to find some money and I need to get... Um, yeah, yeah, some money for the guy. And then probably some more money to get my own chips. And I don't have any money right now, so... um, Very weird. Is this the library? It is. Oh! She looks interesting. Yeah, she wasn't there before. I'm pretty sure she thinks everybody is stealing her precious books. Ah, she takes her job... Shh! Mm, there we have it. She takes her job very seriously. <laughs> Excuse me. I like how she doesn't have a name. She's just called Librarian. I... Ah, Mr. McCarthy. <laughs> Just the person I wanted to see. That doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm, it doesn't. How observant of you. The thing is, little bitch. <laughs> Can I call you little bitch? Of course. Uh, feel free to call me whatever, right? I'd prefer you didn't. The thing is, little bitch, mm. you owe the library some debt. Does 99 ways oh. to make friends. The psionic perceive versus the bronze brain or where are my pubes? Oh. A guide to late bloomers. Sound familiar? Late bloomers also sounds interesting. Uh, isn't there some sort of confidentiality rule or something? Well, nobody's hearing it. Well, except for us right now, right? But, yeah. I know you have them, Cooper. The library knows everything. The library is open. It's okay. I, I can just run home and get them. Reading is fundamental. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Not with regular unbeaten knees, anyway. Hmm. Not my knees! Those are my favorite knees! Lucky for you, I have a little deal to mm -hmm. offer. Either we take your overdue book debt out on your little bitch knees... No, please, or no. you can do us a favor on the down low. Oh, what kind of favor? We're missing a very important carpentry book. Mm. First edition. Bring it back to me and I might let you live. Might. Hell, I'll even throw in a little something extra for scratching our back. How does that sound? It does sound better than smashed kneecaps, that's for sure. And maybe we will find this book in the woodworking shop? Sounds like I don't have a choice. You don't. Now get moving while you still can walk. Oh. Uh, okay, since it's not in the library, where the hell could I possibly find a missing carpentry book? I have a feeling that I do know where we can find it. Interesting that the side quest didn't... Uh, oh, no, the main quest. I'm sorry! Interesting that the side quest or the main quest didn't update. Or sure, I keep calling it quest, sorry. And it did update, but it didn't give us a notification, okay. Eh. Ah, oh, she's still beating the shit out of him, okay. <laughs> Good to see that. Ah! Oh. I do have a feeling that if we pull this book out of there, because this seems to be the book, I can read the car clearly and I see the saw handle. I do have a feeling if we pull the book out of there, uh, the entire desk will collapse. It's a missing carpentry book. Hmm. My arms look like a baby's legs, so no chance I can hmm. lift it. If only there was a way to hoist the desk. Ooh, what kind of ominous and uh, very well drawn and not uh, pixelated at all, meaning there will be an animation for this uh, drawn lever is this. I wonder what it does. <laughs> but still, let's continue interacting with the book. Let's see what else he has to say. It's like the Wizard of Oz, only with a book and a desk instead of a witch in a house. Wow. Hey, book. Sorry a desk got dropped on you. Are you related to the Wicked Witch of the East? Snatched the ruby slippers. It's really stuck under there. I'm gonna have to find a way to raise the desk if I want to get that book out from under it. Yeah, well... Probably the lever, right? It's a lever. Coop levers up his perception points. <laughs> Look at you. You're just begging to be pulled, aren't you? It is. So let's try doing that and see what happens. Will somebody okay, die? Okay, so it moves the chain up and down. Okay. Or leverage, maybe? So we need to put something in that, um, whatever it is, uh, that the chain can hook onto. But what would that be? Oh, 
Well, we don't have anything, right? Yeah, no, I highly doubt that the tampons will do something. And right now... I don't... I don't really see anything that we could put in there. Let's take a look at the chain. It's a chain dangling from the ceiling. What is this? A prequel to Hellraiser? Maybe. So, chain. What's the sound of the men working on the chain gang? It's too high up. Maybe I can toss something onto it instead. Yeah, but still, it would be something that, um... Well, can hold on to the chain, right? And again, we don't... Well, we could throw the keys at it, but I highly doubt that they are heavy enough to uh, pull down the chain, so... I mean... Desperate times call for desperate measures, or whatever it's called, right? That didn't work, but if yeah, I no. try it 130 more times, it might. That's a hint. Let's try it 130 more times. No, just kidding. <sighs> but what could I... What could I throw at it? Will he say something different? He does say something different to um, that thingy on the disc. It's uh, the a disc. vice. Great for the locking vice. your arm in place if it becomes possessed by a demon. My only vice is documentaries on sea creatures. <laughs> Miami vice. Who do I look like? Bob fucking Vila? Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, no, but we can't do anything with it, which makes sense, because we need to put something in there first, and again, what could that be? Maybe it could be, like, the drawer right here, because it has a handle that the chain could, um, pull, right, but... There's a bird nailed shut in there. I guess I'm gonna have to take a look at everything in here, right? Polly want a tetanus shot? <laughs> Wasn't that funny? I don't know why I left. Feels like birds are more likely to be impaled on this birdhouse than nest inside of it. Well, the guy right next to it already built a mansion that killed uh, not only birds, but people as well. A bandsaw. Dangerous equipment like this should probably be banned from the school. Yeah, especially if those idiots are in here. What kind of a band uses saws anyway? Rammstein? <laughs> and slice off my fingers? I need those to count. Okay, let's check out this saw. No blood stains on it? Must be brand new. Well, none of those guys has handled it so far. Sometimes I, I wish I had saws for hands. I bet Kent wouldn't dare to fuck with me. Coop saw hands. I shouldn't touch it when it's showing its teeth like that. Huh. <sighs> Considering half the people in the school are pyros, they should probably keep this locked up. Well, the school is still standing so far. Blow me, Torch. Got him. I think this is a little advanced mm -hmm. for me. One time I somehow managed to hot glue my nostrils shut. Hmm. Well, some kids in kindergarten eat glue, and Coop in kindergarten was apparently uh, gluing his nostrils shut with hot glue. I think these are used for cutting boxes, but I bet they can cut other things too. You know, I really could have used you when Kent shipped me in a box to Alaska that was labeled polar dickweed. Hmm. You know. Oh, oopsie. Wrong button. Box Sweet. cutter. A box cutter. It's like the switchblade of office supplies. Okay, let me think. I don't think we have anything to cut right now, but maybe we could threaten the guy in front of the vending machine. But, um, yeah, that's the only thing that I can think of right now. So, yeah, so let's take a look at this. It's an electric sander. Imagine how much faster Daniel LaRusso could have learned karate if he had one of these. Mm-hmm. Ten times as fast, I don't know. These Ooh. tools are scary enough without having a voice activation feature. Alexa, start sanding. I'd better not. It's plugged in and looks dangerous. In case you didn't notice, I'm desperate right now. I'm trying everything. Sorry if it's taking so long. <laughs> Wood. Yeah. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Yep, that's wood. The wood is good. Sure it is. We have to wear these waterproof smocks whenever we work on projects in here, mainly because of all the gore. Hmm, the gore, okay. Hang in there. Thanks, but I actively avoid situations where I'd need to shield my clothes from human pulp and other viscera. <laughs> a box of hammers sits atop a shelf. Yeah, that seems safe. Well, it isn't on the ledge, right? So, um, or on the edge of, uh, the... I don't, I don't even want to call it a shelf, but, um... So I don't think it's gonna fall down anytime soon, is what I'm trying to say. You're dumber than a box of hammers. <laughs> oh, right. You are a box of hammers. Maybe I'm the dumb one. Definitely. 
Even if I could reach him, the risk of him falling on me is too great. And I don't think we need a hammer right now, but maybe we need a saw right now. The, I don't know, tenth saw that we took a look at. Who keeps saws on top of a shelf like that? I pity the poor soul standing underneath it in the event of an earthquake. So, do you like spaghetti saws? <laughs> yeah, so funny. Go, go, gadget arms! Damn, didn't work. We're gonna be here a while, you already know. <laughs> Just looking at that thing makes me feel anxious. Ring already! You look just like all the other bells out there. What makes you so special? It's a southern bell. <laughs> I can't reach it, but if I eat all my vegetables, I might be able to someday. Anchovy chips, right? But, um... Mm. All those vegetables. There's something... You know, there, there's a certain form of fish and a form of vegetable I always confuse, and I don't know if it's that one. I'm sorry if I'm dumb. It's a speaker to tell us about lunch, the weather, <laughs> incoming active shooters, you know, oh, the usual. The usual. America, right? <clears throat> speaker? I barely knew her. Thank you. I'll be here all week. It's too high and you know it. I wonder if the nails in this box are edible. Okay, so we are taking a look at the nail box. I was about to say we took a look at the shelf and uh, still the question mark shows up. Good job holding Jesus up all these years. Happy Easter. Tempting, but these nails aren't nine inches long. The design of this seems to have been loosely based on a shelf. Very interpretive. So now we are taking a look at the shelf again? I feel like this shelf thing should be studied for defying okay. the laws of physics. No way! This thing is clearly a delicate balance, and to give it even the slightest touch will make it all come tumbling down. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Nothing in here but more tools, and a collection of severed fingers. Oh, then why is the one to the right that's covered up by Coop's... Uh, really, my webcam right now, you can't see it. But <laughs> why isn't um this thumb that is nailed to the table in there, then? I'm here if you need to get anything off your chest. Hmm. If I do, I'm pretty sure this will fall and crush me. It doesn't seem that heavy. And that high up. Those sure are some fancy-looking prison shifts. Will you reciprocate my love for you? Get it? Because you're reciprocating saws? Ah, the loneliness runs deep within me. We feel There's ya. There's a teacher in here to tell me this is a stupid idea, and I'm pretty sure this is a stupid idea. So good thing he doesn't do anything. It's a bunch it. of drills. Pretty sure they're the same ones my dentist uses. Hmm. They call me the Driller Killer. They also call me Loser, Dork, Tiny <laughs> Shit Stack, and Puke Stain. And also, they don't call me the Driller Killer. One can dream. If I need to drill something, I know where to find it. <laughs> or somebody, right? <clears throat> Words to live by. Every day, right? I try to follow your example, but I'm more of a soft work, soft wood kind of guy. Doesn't surprise me. Although I think, I bet if he thinks about Sawyer, that changes. Grandma says to never touch anybody else's hard wood. Why not? Ah, a scenic view of a terrible world. Very scenic. Drop the act, window. I can see right through you. This version of Windows sucks. <sighs> I, I hope we're almost done. Maybe we're almost done because uh, I have no idea. Will you oh, reciprocate? Sorry. I'm Wanted sure to this, do this exists for a reason, but I don't have enough hair on my chest to know what it is. Yeah, why is it hanging there like this? And again, why is it bloody? I saw you. Nope, I'm sure it's covered in blood for a reason. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it gained consciousness and is out, uh, would be out on a killing spree if somebody didn't hang it up there. The birdhouse inspector wouldn't pass any of these avian death traps. Pretty sure the one with the non-functional clock was supposed to be a birdhouse too. Hmm. Maybe it's a bird clock tower. You realize you're all gonna be kindling in the near future, right? If I ever need a house to murder a bird with, <laughs> I'll be sure to come back and grab one of these. So, you do learn things in school. Oh my god. I really hope that this question mark is, is this saw right here, not every... You know, drawer and um, uh, cabinet in there, right? <laughs> Tools. 
tools. Are you Funny. tools for creating or destroying? I really don't know. Both. No thanks. I'd only end up injuring myself worse than Todd. I highly doubt that, to be honest. It's a small toolbox for big boys. I wonder where people stored the tools they used to build toolboxes before they built toolboxes. That's really mind-boggling, isn't it? How were the first things of, um, you know, like uh, the first unit, how was it ever produced if, uh, or a new invention, how was that ever produced if it's, um, if it didn't exist before, if you know what I mean? <laughs> the only tools I carry around are for emotional healing. It's completely corroded. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, just like everything fire-related in this uh, school. Admit it, if a raging fire broke out, you wouldn't help save a single life. Are fire extinguishers supposed to feel mushy? That's disturbing on so many levels. Yeah, especially considering they are probably made out of metal, right? They look like cabinet drawers, but they're not. Your entire existence is a lie. I have no idea. None of these open, they're just false fronts. The aesthetics, right? Okay, so we can do something with him again. No use crying over spilled paint, but I totally understand crying over spilled blood. <laughs> I've done it myself. Quick example, my parents. Did he kill them? I really would like to know the story behind that. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we're playing as a psychopath after all. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that other question mark is this guy, so uh, we will check him last, I think. Just an unsupervised saw around a bunch of dumb kids. What could go wrong? They aren't using it right now. They are busy with something else. I see you saw, and the other students saw me see you. See me saw I'll you. Tell everyone I saw you. Why bandage this up when it looks so cool? Ooh, costume part. Let me check that out. Oh, wrong. Right? Yeah, right here. Uh, now, the question is... Is it a shirt? Oh, oh damn! Oh, boy. Uh, that's a bit graphic, right? Um, It is a shirt. But we're gonna stick to the Freddy Krueger look, I think. For now, at least. <laughs> Maybe that'll change. I'll see. I don't know yet. How many years it took the teacher to build this one? Hey, Desk, why have you been so quiet around me? Was it something I said? You know, once I saw a cartoon where they were lifting a heavy piano up into a building with a pulley and a rope. Maybe that'd work. Or maybe someone uh, will get. Uh, crushed. I couldn't think of the word. Maybe someone will get crushed um, by the piano who's, uh, who's, uh, who happens to walk. Underneath it, right? Zero days? Wow, they're improving. Usually it's zero hours. It's a chalkboard, not a talkboard. The teacher says, touch the chalkboard and you'll get stabbed with a broadsword. All those rhymes, I like it. Ah, so that's what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, but nobody was able to build a proper birdhouse, apparently. Why are you feeling so blue, Print? It's fine hanging where it is for all to see, so students can fail at the construction together. Yes. I also like, and I only noticed this now, how the clock even is a saw blade. You'd think the students made it, but it was actually the teacher. Hmm. Such fine craftsmanship. The teacher doesn't seem to be uh, any better than the students, to be honest. To be honest. Would you go to prom with me? No answer. I get it. I'm short. <sighs> Isn't there anything that helps me in here? That's where they store all the fingers. First aid? What's second and third aid like? If I had to guess, I'd say by the time third aid rolls around, you're probably already dead. Probably, yeah. That's not gonna heal the scars I have. Safety goggles. They can protect your eyes, but they can't protect your feelings. And your fingers. Sorry to ogle you, goggles. <laughs> oh! Sorry, I pressed the wrong button, but what else is new? My fat, funky fingers. Safety first! Ah! 
Okay, I gotta check this out now. Yeah, no, it doesn't really look that good. We're gonna stay with Freddy Krueger. Still. Oh, wait. A light switch. Is that like a lightsaber, but for spanking? Mm-hmm. It is. You're quite the light switch, aren't you? I should switch these off to conserve energy, but it ain't my energy. Yeah. If you're not paying for it, then don't worry about it, I'd say. Poor Max. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, Max. Just had a quick question for you. I don't think he will have anything else to say, anything new to say, but... It is very weird that some characters, because you notice not all of them for some reason, but some characters will keep the green question mark instead of the gray one, even though we went through every option. And I don't know what's up with that. If it's a bug, although that would be weird, that, be, because why does it only happen with a few characters, right? So I think that's telling us that even if we don't have anything to do with them right now, we will have something to do with them again in the future. And... Um, Oh, I don't know. I've got an even quicker answer. No. Yeah, like I thought. Yeah, no. Catch you later. Okay, catch you later, Max. Don't talk to me like we're friends, Coop. <sighs> okay, so um let's try throwing everything at the hook. Survey says no. Permission slip, why not? Coop loses 10 confidence points. The all pass. Not my dumbest idea. Not my smartest either. The tampons. Nope, didn't work. <sighs> Let me pull the lever again. Our fire extinguisher. No, the lever. Our fire. Okay. Okay, so it moves the chain up and down. Doesn't change anything. Or leverage, maybe? <sighs> I don't suppose the chores updated. Find a way to raise the desk. Maybe... This is just a false flag, so to say. And... We're actually supposed to find something else to lift the desk with, but uh, what would that be? I'm lost right now, to be honest. And I think... Before I bore you too much, in the next episode I'm just gonna uh, try and find something to... Throw at the chain to lower it and then... Ah, but how do I connect it to the... Ah, oh, my brain. <laughs> I have no idea what to do, honestly. So, um... I think I'm gonna try to find something off-screen, anything really, that's gonna help us. Or maybe I won't, maybe I will record it, I don't know. Oh. But anyway, no matter what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end this right here for today, because I've been recording for almost 34 minutes now. So, um... Yeah. This is it. <laughs> Before we stretch this even further, right? Uh, this is it right here, so thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please consider liking and subscribing, because I'm gonna play the entire Freak Apocalypse game, and also the two other games that will come out whenever uh, of this trilogy. And I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode of Freak Apocalypse or in another game here on my channel. And until then, bye bye